Let's just build them like one, two, three, four. And we'll mob ball them. Let's do five. So we have ten transports. We'll mob ball them and that will be the end of that. Uh, Leech is no longer a valid rival. And apparently, yeah, we can't do that because we are at war. Uh, the war with England is very likely now. Should we do this war right now? Let's put these guys back. If we were to go to war. He would refuse my call to arms. France is in multiple wars. Okay, so the likeliness of him doing this is not so much. But this will probably change his mind. Let's go sending you over there. Diplomacy, sue for peace. Steer trade. Get some more prestige out of this end rivalry with... I don't know. Him. Send that guy out. So he will go there and we'll get all of this once our diplomat is back. Why? why? We had a claim on you. Yeah, nobody would care about that. Aggressive expansion will definitely increase. We can... Well, we could return province, but we're not interested in that. Damn, that's actually quite expensive. Damn. Yeah, the development is, is quite high. Crown land will be positive again. I'm getting close to hitting that button again. Rebel Uprising. 8k. Yeah, let's make sure that not, that doesn't happen. So now we can actually do all of this. Let's accept that. While we wait for this to happen. Once it's scored, we'll get more sailors. And we should actually go for... Okay, since this war, would it happen right now? He is free. Uh, we're still building up on Ghent. On Galra. I think that's the only two provinces that he is currently having. So let's pull him back. Hmm. So France do doesn't have claims on this. He doesn't have claims on... Really now. Yeah, we should get some claims on here then. Get as much of this coastal as, pro as possible. He hates me anyway, so might as well build up a spy network against him. Uh, production in Ghent. One more production building going. Oh, we're just making a crap ton of money shortly. And uh, we're not making as much because my fleet is just doing nothing right now. If we were to declare war, friends, he would just come in for favors. Uh, Savoy and others. Hmm. 
we don't have to give him anything. We can just take some territory if he will manage to win. But we need to manage to land troops. So... England's navy is still quite formidable. And we now have three heavies and 19 light ships. And France is having six and three. So in terms of heavies, if we can get into a massive fight with all of them, we can sink his entire fleet. And I would probably try to get this. And then we can go colonial and jump towards the, um, the Newlands. And we'll take England apart. Slowly. I'm losing so much Diplo on this. I should have finished my first one already. Yeah, I think we should go for it. This war is going to last a while though. Where is his navy? And France is going to be getting these two. So before... We need to make sure that we can actually land troops. Let's ask, keep protecting trade for now. Let's not go too fast on this. We can make him an ally. Negative one. Okay, he is ally to Scotland. Uh, how about you? Offer independence. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Let's build up some money first. And let's wait until those transports are done. Friends is happy. Utrecht could have some more work. So we'll build up some more against Liege. Yeah, we're making 6.6 .6 already. So in terms of troops, we can have two more. Now, I believe that 1, 3 and 5 would be considered the... What does this? The clarity gains 5 influence. Why? Actually, let's do it. Can we just get towards this? Uh, where are my troops? Yeah, he's getting there right away. Oh, so he, this is also part of the suppression then? He starts fighting rebels? Because that would be very... He's going back immediately. I like that. Oh, that is, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. So we'll wait for the transports. So we could actually land troops. And we need to see. So they have a bunch of it. Where is your navy? Probably protecting somewhere. Uh, we have now three fortresses, so that should be enough. Yeah, three and development is almost enough. Almost everyone is happy. And we'll take away some of those uh, provinces. We have re all, well, we've reached the maximum. Damn. Um, we could actually do this on Lil. But we'll, uh, we'll wait for it right now. The unrest is already... Oh, 
Oh, this is exploiting development. Whoa, that we will lose a base manpower in Amsterdam, but gain a thousand men. No. Why would I want that? Let's try to get Amsterdam into a very developed... Like this. So 27. And we could potentially just increase that some more. How is the technology going? 80. 8 years ahead of time. That's good. Let's do a few more clicks here. And we'll gain three more sailors. I want to have more heavies. Go send you there. Go send you over there. Group you up, mothball you, and there you go. Heavy ship. Build one. Ah, as soon as we can actually do something against England, the better. Truce with Brabant is going to be over. We don't need them both. So, for our mission. Utrecht and Gelre are the only two provinces that we need. We currently have seven. So, we need one more. But that will be oversight. Uh, because we can actually integrate our vessel. Uh, Burgundy. Let's do a claim on your capital. It's not your capital, but it's coastal. And it's all so highly developed. This one, look at this. 22 development. But it, this is HRE. He, this isn't. This is not. This is, this is, this is. So I have to be careful with this territory. And once this is caught up, we can actually give it to the HRE as well. That will make it for the enemy way harder to do it. Kind of think... We need to integrate this guy. Then we just need one province. So let's start integration. So here is the English fleet. Yeah, that would be so nice if we can actually take those down. That one additional heavy, that would give me the guts to do this. Gain some corruption, which is fine. We should make more than enough to deal with that. I have maximum on corruption. Berg is now part of us. Let's put that into the HRE. Protecting trade. We can actually do the same thing over here. Mm. Protect trade. Lose the prestige. Is everyone happy enough? No, and you are slowly going down, which is not good. How long till that heavy is done? 
Just a bit. We'll get some claims on non-HRE provinces. And the annexation is also quite important. We still need to build up a lot of manpower. Look at that. Didn't we have another... Let's go trade. Yeah, we do. We want to save up and get that to level 2. And I think, yeah, marketplaces here in Kallus and Bergs. Let's build that. Let's keep taking that. Possible advisors plus one. So we'll get more options, I think, then. He is getting to an age where he will probably tumble. Coring is almost done. Building is starting. Are you kidding me? France and England have gone to war. You know, that might not be as bad as it sounds. If we can declare upon them, we can sneak over here. I do not... Why didn't you call me in, you bastard? It's, I think, England declared on him. Attacker against England. No, he is the, definitely France declared this war. And he's been splitting the forces right now. So there's, there's definitely transports in there. Yeah, there's eight. And he's just killing his troops off. That's great. That's just lovely. Really nice. Really nice. Anyways, guys. I think that's it for me now. Uh, I've enjoyed it. We're almost at the year 1500. We're still fighting that first idea group. And I would really like to have it done quite shortly. Because I'm, I think we're falling behind. It's it's three more clicks. And then... Uh, influence where we don't have vessels. So that's not going to help us out as much. We could also go military. Um, our district. Aristocratic. Aristocratic. Yes, I did it. Aristocratic ideas would be quite lovely. Or go... Yeah, I, I kind of want to go with exploration. Even though that might not help me right now. It's still quite important to get my colonial regions up. Merchant plus one, trade range plus ten. Getting, I think that will be done when, when we get there. A development cost, negative 10. Naval fi uh, leader fire. Marine force limit. How many leaders can we actually have? We have no leaders. My general has left me a long time ago, probably. And I did not notice that. Let's get him in there. What is my army tradition? 41. We should actually get ourselves an Admiral as well. Eight point six for re. Do I want more spy network? Sure, why not? Can I deal with this? Can I deal with this? Would France... No, he would not send in transports, I hope. To help me. This is where we should land. Also here on Man.
I think production is really good, but we'll save up on money right now. How much are we actually making? We're making 33k. Or 43 gold, sorry. <laughs> K. What was my agenda point again? Oh yeah, base taxes in Amsterdam. He ain't going to like that. Chances are extremely likely it's not happening. Come on, be done. Thank you. Go here, you go there. I kind of want to build a few more. So we have four heavies and 19 light ships, which is still... Well, I think... Eh, maybe. Ah, maybe. Maybe. 36. Can start building up against them. Just landing some troops here. I know. I think a lot. <laughs> Having fun though. That, that's that's one thing. So yes, France is winning this war. Not because he's placing troops, but Scotland. Scotland is also in this war. So he's fighting on two ends. What does this do towards his uh, armies? I think that would be two left. England. He has 24,000 troops. His manpower is almost depleted, but so is mine. Maybe I should build a few barracks. And he has artillery and I do not. But we can change that. We can build... One cannon just to get the additional... Help. Or just leave it for now and go full infantry. We're at 17 and the combat length or the combat width... 24. Uh, we have four calf. Let's build three more trips. Since mercenaries just don't work like that anymore, uh, we'll probably get a mercenary party since we can probably just afford it. Yeah, I think so. We'll get one more light ship in here, and I think that should be even enough to deal with his fleet. It's a long shot. As soon as we kick his fleet out. And we can get transports over here. I don't care about this. We'll probably have to do like Kent. Uh, 90 ducats. Try to improve situations. We'll get a loan. And we'll pay that off as, as soon as possible. A uh, new Pope, apparently. Yeah, we're not going to spend this. I want the stability. Most of them do still support um, Austria. We need some terrain, dudes. I want to start calling this guy back. We're going to be preparing for war. So is there a way for us to get some uh, much needed manpower? The recovery speed is there. I still want the additional point. But that would cost me a lot. Like this one. 10% in Crownland. And they would hate me 5% more. 10% is probably not too good. Especially because they are not above 50. Lightship cost is really good. Ship trading power. This really plays into my uh, 
This may be no. This this might not be. This this we could probably remove. Hey, welcome back. How was your business meeting, man? Burgers land rights. So, where was that again? Here. So, we don't need this much land right. So, we could potentially remove it. And we would gain 5%. And we don't really need this. So, loyalty would change by 20. They will be disloyal for a while. But that would change. They're not increasing right now. I would really like to get rid of this. Can we get rid of that? Why can I not get rid of this? A revolt! So my army should... Yeah, right away. Right on the move there. Like it. Nice. Well done. We can invest in new technology. But it is just five years ahead of time. I want to hold off on that. I was having a brain fart. What, what was I doing again? Annexing Utrecht. So we only need Gelre. Gelre has some alliances and France is not going to aid me because he is having his own war. I was trying to go to war with England. Yes, that was the thing. And getting and sinking this navy, sinking that, that would be amazing. That would be so, so strong. I would need friends in this, and I would actually want my transports in this as well. Just to soak up that damage. I can add two more provinces to the Holy Roman Empire. Do it. Ah, <sighs> guys, should we do this? England is a powerhouse. England is a powerhouse. Should we wait until we actually annexed Utrecht? I think we should. It was, France is doing this war now, so... Let him do it. For a bit. We'll save up on money. We save up on manpower. Inter yeah, integration is almost there. And I, I should really stop, by the way. I, after this integration, I'm, I'm going to stop. I've been streaming for two and a half hours. And I, I really should work on my house. <laughs> you know. Uh, we don't have to repay that right away. So he is... Come on. There we go. Pause that. Due to change in our company, no longer will the privileged strong duchy have an effect on the country. Okay. Diplomatic uh, relics. Oh, damn. Okay, what changed? What, what's this? Look, they aren't too happy. They are increasing, though. He is decreasing. And we got our ships. Combat ability. Combat ability is going to be absolutely brilliant. Four defense and garrison size. For 20 years. In a fight with England would be quite nice. We'll take that. I will take the sea baggers as well. Have a naval tradition of 50. Ah, 
how do I check that? We have a lot less. Tradition is increased by ideas, building, naval combat and exploration. Now that is something we can almost do something about. First things first. My army is... I would not mind going over with one. Like to keep a 20 stack. Like this one. These guys can go. I have one more light ship. I have 37 sailors. So the light ship will um, definitely send in here. I'm not sure. Why didn't you use that light ship, dude? Go there. Let's group up. And weren't we building something? Thirty nine. Okay, we'll build two more light ships, but not right now. We're losing money right now. How many fortresses do we actually have? I think we have four fortresses. We have. Ah, uh, that would actually be okay. That would actually be okay. What kind of buildings can we make? A few of them. Uh, we should actually be doing that. Now we have two diplomats not doing anything. So one is going to be asking friends why. And the other one, Austria. For a second or so. And that's it for now. Um, next time, next time, what we will do is... Let's do war on England. War on England, hopefully we can sink this fleet. That would really harm him. So, because of that, let's unmuff Baldos. And that will kill my sailors like crazy. So, when that fight is done, we are just going to make sure that these guys get mothballed again. When we're certain of their fleet, we'll start landing troops in this region over here. Uh, since it's not occupied by England itself, we could potentially just block off this trade over here. So, we'll have some more time. Taking all of this away from him. Let's get Mon. And we should probably take Kent for the war score. I'll go with him. I just want a few so we can actually start on Sligro, Keldia, Desmond, stuff like that. Uh, we can also invest in a new technology, which is still four and a half years ahead of time. So it's costing me 50% more. Uh, that's quite a bit. Quite a bit. We might as well just invest that. And we'll do that. Not right now. This will slowly go down. That, that's, I'm not going to worry. But every time I've, I, I do something with this. It's going to be horrible. I think we're very close at Amsterdam, but we cannot do this. This should actually give me... Yep, yeah, it does. The large city development. That is nice. And cuts me some slack as well. I don't want that. I want, don't want to pay that off. Protect trade for a while. Make us some money. Yeah, 4.53. Okay, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you for... Um, Alistil, for the uh, Prime sub, man. I really appreciate you. are my very first subscriber. Love you for that. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.